Hello everyone, I'm Barry Ping and welcome to my five minute instructional video on education technology. The subject today is how to use a D3D gear video capture software to capture video clips of a flight in the Microsoft FSX flight simulator environment. The objectives are to create and launch a flight in FSX and then capture a portion of that flight as a video clip. Your finished product at the end of this project will be a video file in MP4 format, which you will be able to upload to YouTube or use as material for a larger video project. The software products which are the subject of this video are Microsoft Flight Simulator 10, commonly called FSX, version Service Pack 2, and D3D Gear video recording software. D3D Gear is payware, but there is a fully functional 15-day free trial, which I will be using in this video. For the production of this video itself, I am using Web Launch Recorder, Audacity, and Microsoft Windows Movie Maker for the assembly of the various video clips. So let's get started. We'll start by opening D3D gear from its icon and have a look at the menu items on the left side of the screen. That's a frames per second overlay and screenshot which we don't really need and now a recording. Set the file folder location, the capture mode, and the hotkey F7, which would be used to start it, resolution, frame rate, video codec, quality, and the audio codec, and launch. That's now running in the background, and we start Flight Simulator in order to use it. Now, the D3D gear running in the background there is standing ready to be launched by the hotkey F7, which will start recording. In Flight Simulator. Select an aircraft type. We'll go for a um, World War II vintage DC-3 in the camo. And select a location. I'll start typing SHE for the Shenandoah Valley Regional Airport in Weirsgay, Virginia, where I work. Select Runway 23. We can select the time of day for good lighting. Let's say just before 10 in the morning. And we can select the season of the year, summer, for a nice green leaves on the trees. Select fair weather and uh, launch. Okay, here we are in the cockpit of the DC-3 using the controls of flight sim. We can move the camera outside and raise it and lower it and zoom back. This is a nice view from the... Uh, behind the airplane and above the top so you can see the environment and we're ready to take off. Now while the flight is in progress you can at any time hit the hotkey which will start the D3D gear recording process in the background and that's again F7. If you like and you don't mind the large file size you can record the entire flight and then you'll have a huge video file that you may edit at your leisure. Now what I'm doing here in this uh, teaching portion is a simply a screen capture using D3D here. That does not have as good a result as the method that I'm teaching about. Finish up this video. We'll just show a couple of short clips of the results of using this procedure. This is a video clip shot using the methods that I uh, have been describing here. It shows the DC-3 and a portion of its instrument panel. Approaching run day, runway 23 at Shenandoah Valley. And uh, now this is a late model 737 and a portion of its instrument panel. Clips like this are useful for uh, a cost-effective way of introducing students to variety of uh, aircraft types regarding their flight characteristics and uh, a variety of airports and that will be all for this video. Enjoy and thanks for watching. 